But in this season, we seem to be focusing a lot on the intersection. Yes. And uh, I know it's because a lot of accidents take place there, and we want our viewers to stay safe. Um, we've been talking about how to avoid the left-turning vehicle, um, but there's also another thing we should try to avoid, and that's being hit from behind, right? It, it happens a lot at intersections. It does. What do you advise? Well, the approach to the intersection when you're stopping behind another vehicle, always leave the length of your bike between your front tire and their back bumper. Mm. Often, we pull right up behind that car. Right. And we haven't left ourselves an out, Dave. So if you hear screeching tires of that vehicle coming in behind you who's not gonna be able to stop, you got nowhere to go. Right. You can do this, that's about it. So always, I always say, leave yourself a car length, right? Exactly. Um, so we come up, we leave ourselves a car length, First thing you said um, earlier was check your mirrors, right? Absolutely. What and are we the, looking for? The guy coming in behind <laughs> us. Okay. So I do it actually on my approach. I'm still slowing down. I take a quick look. And if there's a bigger vehicle that's gonna cause me problems when I'm stopped, I go on that high alert and I'm looking for a note. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not suggesting that you drive up between the cars. We know in Canada that's illegal. Yeah. The only state it's allowed is California, white lining. Very prevalent in Europe, Asia, but here no policeman's gonna charge you if to avoid being run over you simply went up between the cars. Okay. But you're not gonna be able to do that if you stop right on their back bumper. Okay, so we got a couple things happening here. I'm leaving a car length. Maybe it looks like I've stopped quickly and so the car behind me is coming up and I can move forward and, and give myself a buffer. Exactly. But if I hear, Arr! and I look in the mirrors and somebody's coming like this. Sideways. I should move and tuck in between the, the other cars. Absolutely. Hmm. The car that you've moved up beside is going to survive it a lot better than you will. Right. Wow, that is some really great, after all these years, you learn something new. <laughs> great advice. Our pleasure. Thanks, Dave. Thank you.